What's going on YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 8 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, help me grow as a content creator by scrolling down a little bit, smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button. So guys, off screen, I gotta show you guys my Pokemon off screen on my Twitch channel. You guys should definitely go check out my Twitch. Link will be in the description below. Stream 4 plus days every single week. But we call it this Clobopus who I actually really want on my team. This was going to be my sixth and final guy. We called him off screen in a max raid battle, but this is the rest of our team. We got our Sense Scorch, Corviknight, Real Boom, Toxtricity, and Dreadnought. But since Kalabapus is only level 27, we're actually going to be leveling him up with our candies. Look at all these candies I racked up from raid battles. We're going to be racking him up, leveling him up for our team. So I'm going to start off by giving him 10. See how much XP that gives us. Let's go. Let's see. 30,000 Gs! How many levels that give us? Oh my lord! Nice, 37, perfect. We can actually leave him there and use everything. He wants to learn submission. Yes, I want him to learn submission. Jeez, what are we gonna get rid of? We're gonna get rid of bind right off the bat. But this octopus will evolve into octopult, right? Or no, grapple lock. That's what he will actually evolve into. And he is just an all fighting type octopus, which is, he's sick. And he wants to learn taunt. And this is the key right here. You actually have to give him taunt. You must give him taunt right here because this is how he evolves. Once he hits level 30, he will be able to learn taunt. Once you give it to him, he will evolve. So we're going to give him taunt and check this out, guys. Our boy Clavapus will evolve and take the sixth and final spot on our team. My boy right here just chilling. Look how cool he looks. The grab lock. My boy, dude. <laughs> grab lock, dude. Let's go. He is sick. Does he learn any more moves right here? Look at this. We're going to add him to our Pokedex right here. He's chilling. He is chilling. He is a beast. A nice fighting type right here. He wants to learn Octolock. Yes, dude. Let's do that. I guess that's his signature move. I don't even know what it does. Let's see what it does. It says the user is locked and prevents it from fleeing the... Okay. It also lowers target's defense and special defense every turn. Jeez. No, we want him to take it out instead of taunt or faint. We're going to get rid of faint right here. And get Octolock, dude. That's a sick move, actually. So they can't flee and their defense drops every single turn. Jeez, dude, that could be very useful. Could be very useful. But there we go. Got a graph lock on our team. We're gonna be rolling with him throughout this episode right here. But what we have to do is actually head right up Hammerlock and head towards Tur Sir Chester, which the sixth gym will be at, which is awesome. Is it this? No, the seventh. Wait a minute. No, sixth gym. It'll be the sixth gym. But we're gonna talk to Sonya right here. She's just gonna talk about asking us what kind of Pokemon we have and what kind of Pokemon we have seen all this. And look at this. Kaboom! What was that loud sound right there? Are you kidding me? What was that? Dude, seriously, what was that? I have no idea. Hamlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose Power Plant is, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Huh, a power spot. What's wrong? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing? Is possible here? Hey, Sonya and Jeans, too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman's Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon start, might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. Okay, so Sonya and Leon are actually going to head out here and we're just going to keep moving forward. Now we can keep making our way forward. We got our boy Hop chilling here. He was actually like in the shop over here. Let's see what's up with him. Maybe we have to fight him. That'd be nice. But he's saying come with him to Route 7. Okay, that's exactly what we were doing anyway. We were just going to hit the Route 7, which is simple enough. We're going to hop on a Rotom bike right here and get grooving along to Route 7. Here's another Pokemon Center. But Route 7, I don't even know what's in Route 7, but we're going to be catching a bunch of new Pokemon and all that good stuff. And we got our new boy, Graplock, dude. I'm so hyped for Graplock, dude. He's hyped. Are you going to want to battle me now? Yeah, of course. Why didn't you battle me over there? Like, <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> but it's all right. We're going to be able to use our Grab Block right here against Hop. Which is going to be awesome, dude. I can't wait. This is my first time using Grab Block. He has a Treviant. Jeez, dude. Only flying will be super effective this thing. Dude, look at my boy. Look at my boy, dude. Yeah, dude, Grab Block is sick, dude. I always want him on my team. I thought he was going to be part water, though. What are we going to use? We're going to go with Submission right off the bat. Let's go. Look at him. Yo, he has four arms. Oh, fighting move doesn't... Oh, he's part ghost. Jeez, dude. Okay, we're going to have to switch out from our grab block. I'm mad. I'm actually very mad right there. <laughs> but he's actually a uh, ghost type. So we're going to send out our uh, Corviknight right here. Actually, no. We're going to go set the Scorch because our fire moves will actually be super effective. I want our set the Scorch to learn a uh, flamethrower. But dude, grab block sick. He has four arms in the front. He's standing on his other four. Woo! Dude, he's dope. He's dope. But we got set the Scorch out here. He's going to horn leech us. 
It's gonna do poo poo damage. Only nine HP to us, which is fine. We're just gonna flame wheel out here and probably take him out in one hit if I had to guess. This, this Pokemon's only level 34. That's not. That's. Oh, are you kidding me? What do you got? A focus sash? No, he just survived on one magically. Jeez, dude. Oh, but we burned him. Even better. Even better. He's gonna Shadow Claw, but he's gonna go down regardless to the burn, dude. Perfect. Sent the Scorch just whooped on him. I hope he has a rock type on his team. Doesn't he have a Roly Coly or something on his team? Oh, dude, we can put out our Octopult there and give him some quick clappings. There we go. Nice little XP. Sent Scorch will level up to 40. Who's gonna go? Inteleon right here. We're gonna switch Pokemon over to our Rillaboom. Our Rillaboom will just one shot this thing down. We'll say night night, and we'll get the double cash with the luck incense on our Rillaboom. But we're gonna use Drum beating his signature move. And this is our first time going, going to see Inteleon right here, which is the third stage of Sobble, which is awesome, dude. I actually obtained all three starters, which is awesome. I obtained them because thank you guys to everybody who pops out to the stream. Like I said, link is in the description below. We are trying to complete our Pokedex there. And I was asking people if they wanted to give me Sobble and Squirt Bunny, and people did, so thank you guys very much. But yeah, you guys should definitely check out the streams there. A lot of fun. If you click the link, I actually have a schedule of when I stream. I stream four plus days every single week. For completed Pokedex, we're going to do um, Shiny Hunt in there. We're going to do competitive stuff and all that good stuff. So make sure you go down there, follow, turn on those notifications. But our boy Inteleon actually used a nice little Hyper Potion. We're going to raise the Leaf, bring it down a little bit more. And then we're just going to raise the Leaf one more time. And finish off this boy right here. But yeah, I believe we are uh, like 150 Pokemon caught. Maybe more than that. I'm not too sure. But we're going to be catching more in this Route 7, right? This is Route 7 we're going to be moving up to. And that's a Sir Chester, which the 6th gym should be at. And I don't even know what gym it, like, it is. Hopefully it's, uh, oh, we got Heat more. We're just going to switch to our Dreadnought. But hopefully it's, what's it called? What gym do I want it to be? I want it to be... What's super effective though? Oh, wait, I want it to be Rock. So, like, our, our Grapple Lock, we can show him off. He can just be super effective and run it there. But he's gonna send out Heat more, which is this. What is this? This Fire Ground Pokemon, right? So, our Skull should just do work. And dang, dude, Hop has five Pokemon now. Yes, it is super effective. Brings it down past half health, and he's gonna use Bug Bite. That shouldn't even do much to us. Yeah, I was gonna say. Poo poo damage. <laughs> We're rolling out here, but ever since I've been um, going off screen and, like, Streaming on Twitch with this, my Pokemon's level has been going up and it's been nice for the video so we can just run through things and not really worry about too much. Let's go. Grapplox gonna level. Oh no, he didn't level up. Rillaboom did though. That's nice. He's about to send out Bolton. We're gonna switch out. This is the second stage of Yamper. We're gonna switch out to a Grapplox. Try to get some moves in with, with him. I just wanna see his submission and all that good stuff. But his last Pokemon should actually be. What's it called? What Pokemon? It should be Cramorant, I think. We're gonna give him this ye old submission right here. Get a grab block. Let's see what you got. What did he do? Avoid the attack? He's gonna roar it. Oh, dude, why don't people let me show off my grab block? Oh, that was big mistake. That was big mistake right there, buddy. Big mistake. We're just gonna headbutt you up. Oh, that's probably dumb, actually. Because we might get static if he has static on him. Nope, we're chilling. He's gonna roar again. Why do you keep switching out Pokemon? Jeez, dude, what you mean? Big mistake bringing out him. And he has poison jab now. And he has poison jab. Bruh. Big mistake. Go ahead, Toxicity. Oh, Crunch. <laughs> Crunch is a solid move, dude. Bolton's actually a pretty good Pokemon. I just don't really like his design and all that. <laughs> so he'll poison jab him up. Take him out. Yes, we will take him out. Can we get our grab block out here now? Who's going to be up against? The Cramorant, right? Fine. Grab block will level up to 38. The Snorlax. This is actually good. I think he's super effective. I think fighting will be super effective to the Snorlax. Jeez, dude, this guy keeps changing up his teams. They don't really do that in uh, the older Pokemon. They usually stick out the teams and kind of know what Pokemon are rolling in until they get new ones and all that. But this is pretty cool. We kind of know, or we don't know what Pokemon he's going to have. But he has a Snorlax. I'm going to give this thing a submission, finally. Let's see. Yes, it is super effective. Go ahead, Grapplock. Give it to him. Yes. Oh, yes, Grapplock. My boy. Oh, but it does damage by recoil. So that is a, actually a really strong move. You just got to watch out for the recoil damage. But luckily, we do have Brick Break right here. We're going to Merc on him with this. I want him to learn, like, close combat or something. That'd be a nice move for uh, Grapple Lock to learn. Let's go. Brick Break. Woo! Brick Break is always a solid fighting move to have as it destroys barriers and all that, too. So very good for a fighting Pokemon to have Brick Break. Or somebody on your team to at least have it. But let's go. We can actually finish off this battle with Hop and keep moving along towards Route 7. Awesome, Hop actually healed up our Pokemon. Now we can move on to this new route right here. What we got here? Yo, there's a Gravantula. Is this a trainer right here? It is. We're going to face off against this trainer and then catch the Pokemon in the grass and all that good stuff. 
But hopefully she doesn't have too many Pokemon. She's holding a Dust Bowl, so I'm guessing like a Cave Pokemon. A Ribombi, not even a Cave Pokemon. Why are you, why are you catching that thing in a Dust Bowl? I mean, this is actually Fairy and... Might be... No, Fairy and Bug, I believe. We're gonna go... Oh, everything's not very effective. We're actually going to switch out right here into our Corviknight. Level 43 Corviknight, our highest level Pokemon right here. Considering I gave a bunch of candies. But jeez, I only gave... What I gave Grappla? 10 candies, right? 10 medium-sized candies at 30,000 XP. I had 38 of those candies. <laughs> and I have a few larges, so our large will actually merge. Are you kidding me? You're really gonna paralyze our Corviknight? That was a big mistake, dude. Oh, I like how he actually kind of slows down. But there we go. Oh, we should have drill pack. Drill pack would have been better. Pollen pump. What's that do? That's a cool move. That's a new move, I believe. Let's go. We're going to pluck him up right here. See you, Robombi. You're dead. Murked. Absolutely murked. Get out of my face, little boy. Is that all you got? Is that all you had? A Vespa Queen. Uh, we're just going to keep current Pokemon. That's fine. Vespa Queen is also bug and flying, I believe. So we'll just be able to murk it with a little drill pack right here. Dude, our Corviknight's so strong. He's so cool looking, dude. He's so cool looking. I'm glad our team is finally done. We can just focus on leveling him up and all that good stuff. It looks sick. I love it. But this is just going to be my main team for the main playthrough. Eventually, when I beat the game, I'm going to switch it all up and kind of get better Pokemon for the like competitive battles and all that. For online battles. All that good stuff. But we beat it, this trainer right here. We're going to move on and go catch some Pokemon in the grass. The wild area right here. We saw Gravantula chilling right here. But we already have one of them. There's another trainer. What we got over here? Team Yell. I'm not going to really mess with them right now. Gravantula. Actually, let's see. actually see what they want. What are they doing over here? Okay, we actually cannot get past this path. They're just kind of blocking the path right here. We're going to fight this trainer and then catch some more Pokemon here. What I see? I saw the second stage of uh, Galarian Meowth, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Galarian Meowth is hilarious. Dude. I actually really like uh, Galarian Meowth's design. But the second stage, I heard he's a very strong Pokemon, actually. Send down a Corvusquire? Not even a Corviknight, dude? Let's see. Can we do anything? Everything's not very effective. Dang it. Bad time to have a fighting type. We're going to go into our Toxtricity and just discharge it out. Say night-night. Say night-night. I would love to get this team, like, all max IV out. They would be nasty. They would be nasty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. He's got to taunt us. That was dumb. You're dead with this discharge. Bye, Corpus Squire. <laughs> Absolutely shred it right there. Absolutely shred it, people. Is that it, your only pokies? There you go, level up, grapple up, and Toxtricity, 41 and 39 right here. He's going to send out a rough flit. That's fine by me, dude. Another flying type. <laughs> this is what I like. I have I have a lot of versatile on my team. So, any type that really pops out, I have a super effective advantage to them. Just by switching out of Pokemon. <laughs> now we can just murk and keep moving along here. Rowlet's cool. He evolves into Braviary. Dude, dope. But he's a sword exclusive. And the other uh, shield gets uh, Volibee or something. It's like you're kind of like a vulture kind of Pokemon. Well, let's go grab our cash. Do we rack it up? Let's go. What? Any new Pokemon over here? I see. See, there's a second stage of glaring me out. Here's a Pokeball. Grab branch. A lot of second stage. We got quick balls. They got a higher uh, quick catch rate. And of course, we bump into this Ugmug right here. Live part, which I don't even want. I have the first stage. I'm looking for newbies. I'm looking for newbies. Yo, look at my boy, dude. I love grab block so much. Dope. Let's go. We're going to get away safely right there. Let's see if we got any random encounters right here. Here we go. Here's a random encounter. Come on, show me someone new. Who is this? We have a Shelmet. We have one. We're running from him. After searching the grass for a little bit, I found out that I have, like, all these Pokemon. I didn't find anybody new that I haven't caught yet. So we're just going to keep moving. Oh, it's Route 8, not Route 7. My fault. Ooh, and look at this. Is this all rocky, deserty place? Ooh, Soul Rocks and all that good stuff. Soul Rock is actually exclusive to Pokemon Sh or Sword only. Let's check this wild encounter. What we got here? What is this? Oh, a Sandaconda. We actually have one of these. These things are just ground type. I think everything is just like ground and rock over here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Are we going to fight this thing? We're going to try to run away. Can we run away? There we go. Okay, we get the run away. We're actually just going to move down. Try to get the, uh, the Soul Rock over here. But we got this little trainer right here. Who we're going to have to go battle through re real quick. This is probably just like a little Mayan maze right here. I think it's going to be multiple paths. Kind of like that forest that we were in the last time. There was multiple paths, but there was a quick exit. But we got Dr. Joanna right here. She wants to saw. She's going to send out Rosalia right here. And how's fighting against grass? I don't think it's too bad. I think it's uh, normal. We're just going to start off with like a brick break or something. We might want to... Uh, it's not very effective. Of course it's not. Pokemon. We have to switch out again. Uh, we're just going to go into her center scorch. Fire against grass. Eat it up real quick. But jeez, dude, we're trying to show off our grapple lock. We might have to uh, teach him a different move, like have like, because I don't really, I like submission, it's cool, but it has a lot of recoil damage, so I'd rather teach him like a better, what's it called? 
Don't, don't tell me that poisons me. Right, that's fine. I'd rather teach him my better fighting move. Like, I'm trying to think. I think I have, like, superpower in there. That's a really strong one, actually. But I know I have some other good uh, fighting moves. I know I have bulk up or something to actually give it to him. Race his attack and all that good stuff. Let's go take out that little Rosalia right there. And who we got? A Hatrim. We're just going to keep battling with our Scent of Scorch. He will be able to do plenty of work on this Hatrim right here. And actually take it out. Bump, 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 bump. Let's see. Let's go fight. We got Bite super effective. And Bug Bite would have been super effective. But either way, this should take it out. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Doctor, your Pokemon are stinky poo. They are very, very stinky poo. <laughs> Let's go. 808. Not bad with the XP. Not bad at all. Come on, Grapplock. We gotta go find you someone to battle. <laughs> like, we were only to nail up that uh, Snorlax. It's the only Pokemon we were able to hit up. Let's go over here and see what we have over here. We got this Soul Rock just chilling here. What's over here? We're actually gonna catch this Soul Rock real quick. We do not have one, and I would like to trade it. Like, I usually go in the trades off screen, on stream, like I've been saying. And I usually, like, uh, put up sword exclusive Pokemon, and people try to send me back, uh, what's it called exclusive. They send me back shield exclusive. Got this Soul Rock down to red right here. We're actually throwing Ultra Ball, Ultra Balls, because after the fifth gym, we actually unlocked them in the Pokemon, so we got, bought a bunch of them, like 20-something, now we're going to be using them to catch Pokemon. Just like that, we can add the Soul Rock to our Pokedex. Now that we got that Soul Rock, we're actually just going to keep moving along here down this path right here. We can actually climb up this ladder right here. Yeah, boy, dude, I'm actually loving this route. It's like a nice little, like, area right here. Oh, we got this little ladder right here. What's up here? What we got up here? Anything? Good? Yo, look at that little Pokemon in there over there. You see that? In the little cape right here. But we got TM. We got Smart Strike. Is this a new move? Look at that Caterpillar. What's he doing? He's just chilling in the cave over there. That's so funny. <laughs> We're gonna make our way down here. Nothing right here. We're just gonna keep moving along this way. We got this ladder to climb down towards. I see a Bisharp. We have one of them. It's fine. Or no, not Bisharp. A Pawnyard. See, the, here's a Pawnyard right here. I didn't even hit him. Okay, it's a wild encounter. Is this something new? Here's a little caterpillar guy. Fallings? He's so cool. Yo, this guy's so cool. We gotta catch him. Come on. Come on. Trying this again, dude. He keep popping out this Ultra Ball. Come on. There's one shake. Come on. Show me three. Click it. Click it. Let's go, dude. We got for Lynx, dude. He actually used a move called No Retreat, which means he couldn't run, but he raised every single one of his stats. It was crazy. Okay, let's keep moving along. We're gonna climb up this ladder right here and get moving down here. We got uh, a Ponyard already and a Gold Lurk, so let's just keep going here. I'm looking for a new Pokemon that I haven't caught yet. What we got? Anything new over here? What is this? What is this thing? Is this a Togemadu or something? Right? Yeah, we do not have this thing. It's Togemadaru right here. Oh, we got this thing in the bag, dude. I got Waterfall on him now, so it's nice, dude. So we don't have just all fighting moves. But let's go. Get inside this Ultra Ball. I knew this would be an easy catch. What we got here? What's this? We got an Elixir right here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving, yo. Look at these. What the heck was that? You hear that sound? Was that a Gold Lurk? No, it's a Boulder. Look at him. He's just chilling there. We got three Luxury Balls right here. That's fine. That helps you grow their uh, friend luck. But we got this Wild Encounter right here. Anything new? What is that? That's a Sandaconda. We're just gonna run away from it. Stupid Sandaconda. Look at this. We got Furlings right here just chilling there. What you want, Furlings? We got another wild encounter. What's here? What is that? That's a Hippodon. Oh my god, dude. I thought it was shiny, but that's just the girl version. That's just the girl version because I, I usually see the tan and all that. Woo! Yo, I was like, dude, we found a shiny Hippodon. <laughs> That would have been absolutely nuts if we found a shiny Hippodon. That would that would have been unreal. Just out of nowhere. Oh, we got a Rowlet or a Rufflet right here. We're going to catch this bad boy. This is a new Pokemon we can add to our Pokedex right here. Rufflet. Get in here, Rufflet. Dude, the second stage of Rufflet, Braviary, is nasty, dude. He's such a good Pokemon. But we're going to catch this thing easily. It's a little first stage Pokemon. No way it's popping out. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go over here. Let's make our way this way. Is this a trainer right here? Yeah, we got this trainer right here. We're going to battle it. We got a grab block in the first spot, dude. I'm loving this Pokemon. I'm glad I picked him on my team. But, dude, I always, like, before this game came out, I played on my team. I was like, dude, why isn't this guy water or something? <gasps> this guy's a Dreepy. That's, like, the pseudo legendary for this uh, region. But I was like, why is this guy water? But it's all good. He actually learned some water moves, which is not bad. But actually, none of these do good effect to this dragon type. So we're just going to be moving down to our... Who wants to go? We got Bite over here, which would be super effective to him. I'd rather use my, uh... No, we got rid of Bite for him. I oh, know, but we got we got Jaw Lock, so it's fine. <laughs> we'll be able to Merc, and we'll get Double Cash right here. Yeah, that's why we got rid of Bite. We got Jaw Lock on him now, which is like... Dreadnought's special little Bite that he, he learns. Let's go. He's gonna Bite us. Did nothing. That did nothing. What you want, fool? Jaw Lock, you're dead. Little... Stupid little dragon guy. 
It's Final Evolution is nasty. I think it's one of the best Pokemon in the game. It's Dragapult. He's nasty. You can find him at the Lake of Outrage, but you need the uh, Water Bicycle in order to do that. Sense Scorch is going to level up, which is awesome. Anybody else? Nope. No one else is. And now we got Bullaby right here, which we're actually just... Now, we're going to keep out our Dreadnought because he has Rock Tomb, and Rock Tomb will just slap on this thing. This is the Shield Legend, or the Shield, what's it called? Exclusive bird, so we get Braviary and they get Volibee right here. So the rough one I just call it is sword. This one is shield. But let's go. We can actually finish that off with one shot with Rock Team, which is nice. Not bad at all. Everyone's gonna get XP. Dreadnought's gonna level up. Anyone want to learn moves? Nope. But watch this cash flow with this double cash right here. Ooh, Ooh. dude, racking it up every single time. What we got up here? Any, any new? Anything good over here? Any Pokeballs? We got a little shiny object over here. A big nugget. We can actually sell that for mean gold. There's a TM over there. Look over that little rock right there. I see the top of the TM Pokeball. But we're gonna go get that now to get out of here. Golder, Golder, leave me alone. I'm just running past all you guys. We got another trainer battle right here. Yo, he wasn't even looking at us. We popped into him right here. And he says he's doing a live concert or something. <laughs> Look at him. We got Musician Charles right here. He's going to get whooped on. He's going to go Toga Demaru right here. And I believe my grab blocks fighting moves are super effective to it. So we're fine. We're fine. We're chilling. We're just going to break, break it up. I would like to actually maybe get rid of... Uh, Octo Lock or no, I kind of like Octo Lock. It's actually a really good move, especially we might actually use it against gym battles because it just drops your defense like crazy each turn by turn. What's Iron Barbs do? Ooh, there's a little extra damage to us right there. Did he die? Was that his only pokies? Let's see if he had another one. Let's go. Nice XP. Good little thousand. That's it. There we go. We get his cash real quick and we out of here. He just had Mike drop and he was done with it. <laughs> Yo, look at that. The second stage of, uh, it's Crustle. That's what it is. That's that Pokemon. It's Crustle. We're just gonna move down here. What we got? Oh, a Fairlinks right here. Just doing its thing. We're gonna grab this. Another Nugget. And then we got this Pokeball right here. What's inside this Pokeball? A King's Rock. That is actually beautiful. You can actually evolve a few Pokemon while trading with that. There's nothing else over here, so we're just gonna head up here. Oh my god, dude. Fairlinks, get out of here. How do we get up to that other thing right there? I guess we gotta go this way and then make a left. But there we go. Make our way up this ladder, and that is the end of this route right here. That is the end of this route. Oh my god, dude, I thought that was just a rock blocking us. And it's a crustal just chilling there. <laughs> that thing's hilarious. This is actually rock and water type. Can we just run away from it? I'm hoping we can just run. Let's see. There we go. We can just run away easily. Easy peasy. Be gone. Let's go grab this TM that I saw just showing over here. It's right here. What we got? Brick break. Perfect, guys. Such a good move. But our grab block already has that. But it's just good to actually have it in case we want to give it to other Pokemon later on. All right, what we got up here? Is this double battle? Is this double battle before we head into the thing? Oh, we got, yeah, nice little double battle. Who do I have in top spot? I think it's Dreadnought and Grab Block, but Grab Block's health, health is actually really low. It's pretty low. But hopefully we can get some Pokemon that we can just one-shot. Let's see who he has. Hippodon? I think we can take that out pretty strong. And Excadrill. Okay, okay. How are we going to go about this? They have two each. I think a Grab Block might go down here. Let's look at its health, dude. Sand Stream's going to pop out. I might heal up with a Grab Block right off the bat. That might be the best option here. But, dude, that's a Steel type. That's a steel type. We are, we are going to send out uh, Hyper Potion on a Grab Block right off the bat here. Use this on Grab Block. That better not take up two turns. Okay, cool. And then Scald's going to be super effective to this Hippo Dawn right here. So let's go. Use this Hyper Potion. Heal up our Grab Block. But hopefully this Excadrill doesn't use a mean steel move on us because that will be super effective towards our fighting type. He's going to use Dig and Ground. Is Ground? Ground might be super effective too to fighting. I'm not too sure. But we're going to Scald up this Hippo Dawn right here. Do some work on it. That thing's a tank though. It's a real tank. He's going to use Sand Tomb on our Dreadnought. Just put him in a little tomb right here, which isn't too bad. Oh, that is super effective. That's a ground move. Oh, yeah, he's rock. So that's probably... This Escadrill might actually take out our Dreadnought right here. <laughs> 85 damage is doable. All right, let's fight here. Grap Lock? I'm going to bank on Grap Lock going second. I'm going to bank on Grap Lock going second. We're going to go on this Escadrill. And then we're just going to scald this Dreadnought down. There we go. I banked on it. I knew the Excadrill was kind of fast. He's got, not going to take out our what's it called. He's not going to take out our Dreadnought right here. I knew the Excadrill was fast, but hopefully we can get some mean damage off with this Brick Break right here. And keep up both our Pokemon alive right here. Mmm, nice little XP there. Go ahead, get this Brick Break. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, dude. Perfect. Grab Block just murked on this fool. Murked on him. That's exactly what I want to keep both Pokemon alive there. And everybody gets XP. Grab Block leveled up to 41. Nice. Oh, they actually have two other Pokemon. I kind of forgot. Let's see. Lucario, which our grab block could do some work on him <laughs> with the Brick Break. And Berserker. Berserker's Steel Type 2, I believe. I believe he might be Steel and Dark. Let's see. We're going to go with this. Uh, we're going to go with Brick Break once again to this Lucario. And then on this Berserker, we're just going to go with uh, we're gonna go with the Jaw Lock. I believe Jaw Lock could do some work on him. 
Let's see. Berserker's gonna fake out. No, not a grab block. I don't want him to flinch. Dunal's gonna jaw lock. Let's see. No, it's just normal. Not too bad, though. He can't run away, though. But Lucario's gonna use power up punch. Knock out our Dreadnought. Bye, Dreadnought. You're done. You are out of here. And what? He raises his attack. Jeez. Jeez, guys. He raises his attack with that move. That's actually a very good move. And I flinched, of course. Of course I flinched. Who are we gonna bring out to take out that Berserker? We are actually gonna bring out our Senta Scorch. Considering both these guys are steel, they will both be super... Or this flame wheel will just merc on any of them. But let's see. We're actually gonna go Brick Break on this uh, Berserker right here. And then use my flame wheel on Lucario. Because I feel like our flame wheel will, will do more damage to Lucario than our Brick Break. He's gonna Metal Claw us. Eee! This is a mean damage. There we go. Flame wheel coming out. Sent Scorch. Whoop on him. Take him out. My boy, dude. My boy sent the Scorch, dude. He's such a strong Pokemon. He really is, dude. Let's see if Grapplock can actually take out this Pokemon right here. This Berserker right here with his Brick Break. I believe he should be super effective. And then, yeah, it's just crushing out the park. Beautiful, dude. Grapplock is such a good addition to our team. But watch how much gold we get considering it's double battle. And we have our amulet out. So that's double battle. Double that money. Let's see this. Let's see it. Come on, come on. 13 grand. 13 smackaroos right here. And we can make our way to this tent lady over here. Which is actually a nice flying area. But what we got back here? Nice little Pokeball. A terrain extender. An item to be held by extensive dirt. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's all right, dude. You can actually use that in competitive play if you have a good terrain Pokemon. But I believe that is the end of the route. We're actually going to pull out our bike right here. Just do a straightaway right to the next town of Sir Chester. Actually, is it the next town? I think there's another part of the route. There might be another part of the route right here. Yeah, Route 8. We got Steam Drift Way right here. And the town is actually right over here. We got some ice Pokemon right here. But I feel like we caught all the ice Pokemon. What is that? Is there Chubba Chews? What is that? What is this thing? I feel like I haven't seen this thing. Let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. What is this? I have not seen these things. We got a Snom. I think these are new Pokemon in this game. Little Snom, guys. <laughs> we got to catch this bad boy. Get in here, Snom. I want you, Snom. That's such a funny name, though. <laughs> There you go. There's two wiggles. This should be an easy catch. No problem. Click it up. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get moving along. The Sneasel is chasing after us. What is he doing? How did not we just get caught by that trainer right there? We literally ran through that trainer. How did he see us? We ran right past his line of sight. But this is going to be the last trainer for this route right here. This is a small route. Just a little, nice little ice route right here. Or is, it, is this still considered... What's it called? I think it's still considered Route 8. But it's fine. It's fine. We got our Sense Scorch. Fire v. Fire right here. Arcanine. We're going to versus Arcanine. We got White Smoke and in. Well, he's going to use Intimidate and our White Smoke's going to say, not going to let it happen. We're just going to bite him down, dude. We're just going to bite him down. He's got, jeez, dude, extreme speed to do work on us. That is such a good move. Literally one of the best starting moves in the game. For sure. But there we go. He's going to get buffeted by Hail here. We're going to bite him down again. Hopefully get a crit. I'm going to hope to actually crit here. I'm banking on a crit here to take him out. Come on, show me a crit. He's got extreme speed again. We're chilling, we're chilling. We should be fine. We should be able to still take out the Arcanine with just our sense switch. All right, okay. Hopefully he doesn't use extreme speed again, because I believe we should outspeed it, considering, we're, what are we, five levels ahead of it? Let's go. Bite it down. There we go. He did not use extreme speed, because extreme speed always goes first. We can take out this Arcanine right here. Pretty simple, pretty simple. But I think this sixth gym will actually be an ice gym. It's pretty cool. Ice gym. I thought it was going to be ground or rock. Sense switch is going to level up. Who... Who is he going to send out now? I feel like it's going to be like a Weebile or something. A Bolton right here. We're going to switch Pokemon. Hmm. Bolton, Bolton, Bolton. Who should we go with? We're going with Toxtricity right here. We're going to go with Toxtricity right here. And use Poison Jab up on this bad boy. This bad boy. <laughs> but if it's Ice, which I believe it is, our Sense Scorch could just run through it. And we can probably use our Grab Block a little bit up in here too. Get him some work. There we go. We're going to Poison Jab up on here. Just do some work. Let's go. Let's go. No. Pew, 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 pew. Dude, poison jab rocks. And we poison him. He's going to die either way. Awesome. He's going to roar us out. Switch out our Pokemon, which doesn't even do anything. He's dead either way. Sent the Scorch. He's going to get more experience. <laughs> See you later, Bolton. He's dead. Finish off this last trainer for this route. Now we can make our way to the town, which is going to be awesome. We can actually go heal up and then battle the gym leader. Or the do the gym challenge now, that they're called. But dude, I love the gym challenges and everything about this game. This is definitely one of my favorite Switch titles. Hands down. Hands down. There we go. We can make our way to this town. Look at this place. What is this? It is Sir Chester right here. And oh my god, we got a nice little fountain over here. This looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. Is that the gym up there? I think that's the gym right there. 
What is that? Ice or rock? I'm guessing that. That looks like ice. <laughs> and we got ourselves the ice gym. So we're just going to go heal up our Pokemon right here in this Pokemon Center real quick. And do I need anything else? No, I think we just need to heal him up real quick. And then we'll be able to go over to that gym and see. Hopefully the gym leader's there already and we don't have to go looking for it. Look at that team. Look at Grapplock. He's a beast. He's like this. He's like, what's up, dog? You want some of this? <laughs> He's a beast, dude. I'm loving this team. I loved how it turned out and everything. Let's keep moving along here. We're just going to hop on our bike real quick. Get okay, grooving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And head up towards this gym. What you want? What you want? Ice gym. Yo, this is beautiful over here. Ooh. Oh, a TM. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I was looking around. I was like, there might, there has to be like a sparkle or something. And we get Icicle Spear. Nice. Nice little ice move there. Trying to think, how many ice Pokemon are there in this game? There's a few. There's a few. Considering we just called Snob, there's Sneasel, Snow versus Snow Runt. There's a good amount. Not bad. They got a, a lot of good uh, variety in this game right here. But we're going to make our way into this gym challenge right here. We got our Scent of Scorch rolling out in the front spot. We got our boy Hop here. Did he actually beat this place yet? Let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, guy lost. It went all to pot. How you lose? You lost, dude? What'd he give us? He gave us Gordy's league card. He lost? You stink. Why, then why are you going to the other place? Or are you going to go try this again? Heal up and try again. <laughs> Come on, Hop, dude. You're better than that. Well, let's go. Let's get into this gym challenge. I'm ready for it. We're going to go put on our 25 jersey once again, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Put this jersey on me so we can roll in here and give them a little... Psh, 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 psh. A little smack and ruse. Let's go. I wonder who the final trainer is going to have. I'm guessing I'm probably like an Obama Snow, maybe a Glalie, a Frostlass I can see. I can see a Frostlass considering the last gym challenge had a Togekiss. So Frostlass is actually a good guess here. But look at this. Is this rock or ice? This is rock, isn't it? What is this, yo? What do we have in our hands? What do we have in our hands? Would you like to hear the details about the gym carry to church sister? Then allow me to explain... A little about the trap detector you hold in your hands the reason you'll need this is simple there are invisible pitfalls everywhere here if you fall into one of them you have to start again and reach here okay detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you the closer the hole the stronger okay easy enough so we just gotta dodge all these pitfalls and you again good luck this is a rock gym this is a, not an ice gym it's throwing me off <laughs> why am i going into my bag i want to go to my pokemon and switch out to my grab lock in the top spot dude get up there grab lock my boy grab lock he is a sicko. He is a sicko. Let's go here. We got these little things right here. You're gonna vibrate? Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. I'm not gonna go that way. There we go. We gotta go this way. Alright, this way. Through the middle right here. And we can battle this trainer right here. Okay, so you guys can see the little circle of vibrations. They just make like a little out thing right there. That's how you know there's a little pitfall in front of us. So if we just walk around there. With no little circles in front of us, that means we're going on the right path. But she's gonna drop a boulder right here. This is a rock gym. Yeah, they're probably gonna have a Gigalith here. Oh my god, dude. Grab block has water. We actually should have used a water move because he's part of fire, but this brick break will take it out. No problem, dude. Grab block, dude. I'm so hyped that we put him on our team. This is actually perfect considering we have this rock gym right here. He can get some levels and actually catch up to the rest of the team right here. Bum, bum, bum. Because we could have ran it either way, even with our Rillaboom or our Dreadnought. It's no big deal. Let's go over here. Oh, nope, can't go that way. We gotta go around. No, we cannot go that way. Cannot go that way. We're gonna head back here. Maybe head left? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, we start here. I guess we can go around this little area now. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, it's fine. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We make our way around here and finish off the first little challenge right here. What's gonna happen? Is this whole place gonna fall down? Oh, no, it shows all the pitfalls. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Let's go. That's it. That's the ticket, it says. Okay, let's go. Up here. And straight on. And left here. Up. Up. Oh, nope, nope, nope. This way. Let's go this way, diagonal. Up here, and then up here. We can face off against this trainer right here. I think you gotta verse all the trainers because the way that they made the pitfalls, you probably had to go in that direction towards that trainer, then over to the next one right here. But it's fine. They don't really have too many Pokemon. They got a Crustle right here, which we're just gonna murk on with our Brick Break. We're just gonna say Night Night. Hi -ya! <laughs> Dude, I love his animation. Like, the way he just stands and everything. Oh, wow. What is he, Ground and Rock? I thought he was part water. That's fine, dude. Luckily, we did give him Waterfall, dude. That's nice, dude. That is nice. He's gonna use Stealth Rock. Yee. 
That's actually only if we switch, so we're chilling, we're chilling. We're just gonna take him out with our next turn right here. With this waterfall. Right here. Yay. Bill. See you later, you hunk of junk. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Crustle. Look at how much XP he's gonna give us. Nice little 1,154. Beautiful. Give me all that cash, too, baby. Let's get it. Let's keep rolling out here to this next little trainer over here. We just gotta watch out for these pitfalls. Okay. Gotta head on this side right here, which... Actually, we could dodge the trainer, but I want the XP, and I would like to cash and all that. Plus, I would like to show it off to you guys of us just beating all the trainers and all that good stuff. Let's head over here. We got Gym Trainer Oliver right here. He's about to get the whooping job. He's going charcoal right here. Is that the third stage? No, that's second stage right here. This is second stage, and then the third stage, I forget what it's called, but it's a lot bigger here. What are we going to go with? Everything's super effective. We're going to go with straight to a Brick Break, because I just like the way Brick Break looks, and he is a fighting type, and his physical moves are stronger than his special moves. What do you got, Sturdy? That didn't kill? It just magically landed on one, but he's going to stealth rock down right here. That's fine. We're just going to probably use reversal right here. Actually, reversal goes towards damage that we lost. So, like, the lower our health is, the more damage reversal will do. So, if we're ever low, dude, that's when we send out our reversal. It's an all-out little move right there. Just give him the quick Merkins. There you go. You're dead. Give me your XP, boy. Is that your only Pokemon? Yes, it was. We can head on to the next challenge. I think there's probably, there's usually three different challenges within each gym. Let's see if we can just head straight forward here. Okay, no, we cannot head straight forward here. Gonna head up. No. What is this? We cannot head straight forward there. Hold the bananas. Nope, I tried running through. No! <laughs> it's fine, we'll just respawn here. Can we go this way? Oh, we can't go this way. This is the right... No, it's not. We have to go all the way around the other way. Jeez, dude. How? How so? Do we have to wrap around this way? Nope. I'm trying. Actually, there's nothing this way. Actually, there is something this way. I guess we gotta go all the way. Oh my lord. I guess we gotta go all the way straight up. This detector's kind of annoying. There you go. Now we can go around. There you go. And straight this way. Perfect. I thought we were gonna hit another one. Okay, okay, cool. Let's see all the pitfalls here. Jeez. Yeah, see, they kind of lead you towards that path. Yeah, to go to fight the trainers right here. Now, are we on the last one? Oh my god, it is all snowy here. I mean, not snowy, it's all sandstormy. Alright, let's head this way. Cannot, oh, I was gonna say, we cannot go that way. Jeez, dude, we got this sandstorm. This is a cool little challenge right here. We're gonna head up here. Go left. Alright, we can head forward here. Okay, we can head this way. This way, okay. Oh my lord, is this the end right here? Do we make it towards the end or is there a trainer here? It's just, an, it's just an extra platform, what's this? There's another platform right here, we're gonna head on this platform right here. There's a trainer somewhere over here. Right here, we're gonna keep heading up this way and then make our way towards the right over here. <laughs> you can't see anything, you got the sandstorm just busting down on you. Like, bruh, dude, but we're gonna face off against the studio widow. Our uh, fighting moves, I think, are super effective to this little hunk of junk. Yep, and our waterfall is too. What is he, just rock? I think he might just be rock, but that should just whoop on him. Ugh. Down to the red there. If we had like one more level, he would have been murk. Of course, that pseudo Wudu got a crit on us right there. But he actually died to recoil because Woodhammer does have recoil effect. Or was he buffed it by the storm? I think he, was, he had recoil on it, so it's not a big deal. He's dead right there. Let's keep moving along this way. Try to find our way towards this end here. Alright, we're chilling. This is the right way. Let's head right here. Now we gotta head this way. Up this way. This way straight. I'm terrified. So all the way left. Up. Oh my lord. Oh my- No! <laughs> Dang it, dude. We have to figure out this path. And now we start all the way back here, which is just annoying. Alright, we can head up here. To diagonal. Up this way. We're chilling. I'm gonna head diagonal here. Head up here. Jeez, dude. Alright, this side wall's fine. 
that in here. That's where we just fell at. The diagonal. I think this is the path right here? Is this the path? Okay, yes! Okay, okay, last little place right here. I'm gonna go around this way. And there we go, perfectly around this way, and we finish off the gym challenge. Jeez! That last part was... That was pretty tough. Considering we had the sandstorm and all that, was just crazy. Look at that. Jeez. Wow, wow, wow. That was awesome, though. But can we just put these detectors away and actually just, like, start running up there? We do not need them anymore. We're gonna go face off with the gym leader right here. We actually didn't get to meet the gym leader yet, which might be, be pretty cool. Gym mission cleared! Huzzah! <laughs> Let's go. We can head inside here. I'm just going to heal up my grapple lock real quick. Then we can go into the battle. Here we go. My team is fully healed up. We're starting off with a grapple lock. We got this rock gym right here. Rock or ground. I believe it's just rock. But we're going to be whooping on. Look at this guy, dude. Look at this dude. He looks dope. This guy looks dope. We're going to be facing off him. This is our sixth gym. We got two more gyms, which is crazy. Now we can verse the champion. Or is there an elite four? I'm really not too sure yet. Which is pretty dope. Let's see what this guy's little pose does. I wonder what uh, his final Pokemon will be that Gigamax is. Look at this, it's Gordy, man. You're challenged by gym leader Gordy. Dun, 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 Ooh, baby. He did a backflip, and he starts off with a Bavarical. Let's go. We got a grab block right here. We should just be able to. Did we verse one of these bad boys yet? I'm not sure if we verse one of these guys yet. But we are not going to waste our uh, our Gigamax form on it right away. We're actually going to Octolock right off the bat here. He's going to use Shell Smash. That shouldn't even do that much work on us. No, it's just a... What's it do? It lowers his defense, and his, but his attack actually raises. This is actually going to be nice. This actually might be nice. We're going to Octolock him up here. He's going to attack first, but he cannot escape, and his defense is going to constantly drop every single turn. His defense and his special defense. So now his defense is minus two, and now we're just going to go straight for the Brick Break right here. He's going to use Razor Shell, which is... Ew! Why did that do so much damage? Can somebody tell me why that did so much damage? Looks like a Rillaboom is actually going to run stuff. I guess it's because he, what's it called? He raised his uh, defense and all that. But jeez, dude. We're just going to wipe it out, wipe him out one shot. If this kills my Rillaboom, I'm quitting. Okay, it's not very effective, but still, jeez. I think it worked. This will take it out one shot. His defense is minus two. See you later, dude. Done. How did he one shot my grapple lock like that? I'm kind of mad. I was, I was looking forward to using him here. <laughs> Now he's not going to gain any XP. A Shuckle. We're just going to keep our Rillaboom, dude. Our Rillaboom should just be able to run this. We have multiple Pokemon that can run this little scenario right here. Considering all these little chumps are rock Pokemon. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But this guy is a little different to him. Shuckle, I believe he's part Steel, so this will not be super effective. But it still be, should be able to do work. Nice little damage there. What just raised? His speed rose. What is that? Every time he gets hit, he's going to rock two more up on us. Do nothing. Do nothing. We're just gonna raise the leaf and then drum beat him up again. My speed fell though. Dang, he's gonna go first now. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no, he's not, dude. Chuckles a little slow boy. A little slow boy right there. He's gonna use struggle bug. This should be super effective, isn't it? Yeah, but nothing. That's what he is. He's bug and rock. So that's why our uh, grass doesn't do too much work on him. But there we go. We can actually finish him off with this drum beating right here and say bye bye, Shuckle. And then we can switch out if we really want to, depending on what Pokemon is actually here. Dude, I love these gym battles. Let's go. Who's leveling up? Grap Block's not getting any XP because he's dead. A Stone Journer. I'm going to keep my Pokemon. I'm trying to think what this thing looks like. That's what it is. It is the new Pokemon. He looks dope, dude. I think I'm going to Dynamax right here. I think I'm going to Dynamax right here and go Max Overgrowth and hope to take this thing out in one shot. I'm going to be mad if we cannot take it out in one shot. It probably has 30, so this might be a bad move. We're going for a high risk, high reward here. Because if we could take him out, then we could just two-shot the latest Pokemon there. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Ready to absolutely murk on this fool. Bam, 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 nee, nee, nee. Our boom's gonna go 45, though. He's gonna go 45. He's gonna use Wonder Room right here. What's this do? Create a barrier. It said something with defense. I don't even know, but he's dead. I'm hoping he's dead. Max Overgrowth. Yes, dude, let's go, dude. Take out his Stone Jordan right there. I actually got to find one of them. I, don't, I think they have a first stage, but there we go. We got a nice little grassy field out here. So our grass types will be boosted, and we'll grab a nice little heal in the process between every single turn. But what's his last Pokemon going to be? I'm going to say Gigalith? I'm going to say Gigalith here. That's what I'm going to say. 
A Colossal. Okay, that's a pretty good one. We're actually going to switch Pokemon out here. No, we are not. We are not going to switch Pokemon. He is part fire, though. So he might be able to take out our Rillaboom. I cannot switch considering I still have two more attacks with my Rillaboom right here. Colossal. This thing's a beast, but it looks how small it looks compared to our, uh, our what's it called? Our Rillaboom. He's going to Giga Max it. This should, I don't know if it's going to be not very effective or just uh, even. It'll just be effective. But I know it's not going to be super effective because he's part fire. He's rock and fire. Colossal is. Yeet. Throws out his Colossal, dog. Look at this. And this thing has a Giga Max form. That thing looks dope. It has shards of stone shoot out of him. It has like the little magma in the middle of him. Jeez, dude. It looks like an absolute unit. Let's go. We're going to use Max Overgrowth here and see how much damage we can actually pull off with this. Let's see. It's, it's just normally effective. It does about half. I don't think we'll be able to take him out with two hits. He's going to use Max Play and actually take out our Rillaboom here. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Bye-bye, Rillaboom. We're going to send out our, our Dreadnought. We have Scald with our Dreadnought. That should be able to do a nice amount of work against him. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a, it's okay. How come he gets healed from the grass? That's bogus. He's a fire type. Let's get out there, Dreadnought. Get out there, big dog. He has Scald right here. I, I think two Scalds will actually take it away from him, considering his health is actually very, very high right now. Hopefully one. I mean, I'll take one if we can. We're going to Scald him up. It actually could be one because he's double rock and fire. No, it's not even... We're going to need more than one. Steam Engine, what does that do? Every time water hits him, his speed raises drastically, so he's going to start attacking first here. Jeez, dude. This thing is actually a beast. His defense is through the roof right here. He's going to use Volcalith, which is a rock move right here. This shouldn't really do too much damage to us. But it actually did a decent amount. Did more than half. Now we're surrounded by rocks. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Oh, dude, he's healing up now. No. Okay, okay. We're chilling, we're chilling. Hit this Scald again. This is our best move against him. He's going to use this again. Not, I don't think he's going to take us out here. Uh, cause like, unless he crits. Unless he crits. If he does not crit, we're going to be able to get an extra shot out here. Hopefully we get the burn. Can we burn a Colossal? That'd be awesome, but no, we do not burn him. Jeez, this is actually going to be a tough one right here. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to be able to do this. We need this, uh... Actually, there we go. He's out of Giga Max form. <laughs> now we're chilling. That's fine. We're probably dead here. I think his cost is going to go first. Yeah. No, he's going to Stealth Rock, and we are not dead. We can. I think we're going to take him out here. I think we're going to take him out here, because we just made a mistake here. He could have took out our Dread and all. Can we take out this bad boy? Take him out. Ah! Hunk of Junk! Hunk of junk, he's actually going to survive. Hopefully, he does something dumb once again. Maybe we can survive here. We're going to go for one more Scald. Their next hit's going to take out this bad boy. Either way, and there goes the grass battlefield and went away. Come on, Scald him. What's he going to use? Heat Crash. We're dead right here. We're dead, even though it's going to be not. Oh, we're not. Dude, it's not very big. I thought it was still going to do work. And there we go. We can take out the sixth gym, which is the rock gym. Beautiful. Dude, this XP is going to be through the roof and just absolutely insane. It is going to be absolutely insane. 2,000 and 1,000 to everybody else. Jeez. Toxicity wants to learn Overdrive. What does this do? Let's see. Overdrive. It's electric move. Oh. The user attacks opposing Pokemon by dragging a guitar or bass guitar, causing a huge echo and strong vibration. Okay, dude. Spark, you're out of here. You're out of here, Spark. That is actually a very good move for Toxicity. It is a phenomenal electric move. I want to learn that in, like, Thunderbolt or Thunder. That would be nice. Beautiful. But there we go. We defeated Gym Leader Gordy right here. Get out my face, little boy. <laughs> he said he just wants to climb and do a hole, but I think he's going to give us a uh, Stone Edge or Stealth Rock for the TM right here. Let's see. Let's see. Or are we going to get it later? That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take the Rock Badge. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Let's see how our pendant is, is actually coming through. Let's look at this thing. I like how these things just fit in here. Built right there. We need two more. I guess one's going to be big. This was a six, right? Yeah. Six. There we go. We can catch Pokemon level 50 now, which is beautiful. Just dandy. And here we go. We're going to get this TM. We got Rock Tomb. Oh, man. I thought we were going to get a better one. I seriously thought we were going to get a better one. Dang, dude. But we're going to get this special uniform right here. Then we're going to head outside and see if there's any cutscenes before we actually end off the video. Let's go. Let's check it out. I love that little Pokemon mascot. The little Pokeball right there. I'm guessing there's a cutscene. There's always a cutscene. Here we go. We got Sonya right here chilling. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Of course. Sir Chester has really some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about. So let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Okay, so it looks like we've got to meet her there. That's cool, that's cool. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button and support me as a content creator by hitting that subscribe button. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.